for each differential equation, we're asked to indicate the order as a number and whether the equation is linear or nonlinear. The order of a differential equation is the number of the highest derivative in a differential equation. A linear differential equation can be written in the form of f of t comma y comma y prime all the way through the nth derivative of y equals zero. Which means a linear differential equation can be written in this form here. We're looking at all the terms. We can have a function of t where the function of t can be a constant, a function of t times y, as well as a function of t times a derivative of y. So if it fits this form, it's linear. If it doesn't, it's nonlinear. So looking at our first example, we have cosine t times the third derivative of y with respect to t equals five y. Notice the highest derivative is a third derivative, so the order is three. And this differential equation can be written in this form here, so it is a linear differential equation. Here we have a function of t times the third derivative of y with respect to t, and here we have a constant times y, which can be considered a function of t times y. So again, this is a linear differential equation. Looking at our next differential equation, we have five y prime minus two y squared equals zero. So the highest derivative is the first derivative of y, so the order is one. This first term can be considered a function of t times y prime, but because of the second term, this is a nonlinear differential equation. Notice the second term is negative two y squared, so because of the y squared, this is a nonlinear differential equation. A linear differential equation can have a term that contains a factor of y, but not y squared. So again, this is a nonlinear differential equation. Let's look at two more examples. Here we have the third derivative of y with respect to t equals sine of the quantity t plus y. The highest derivative is a third derivative of y with respect to t, so the order is three. And because of the term sine of the quantity t plus y, this is a nonlinear differential equation. This term is a function of t plus y, not a function of t, a function of t times y, or a function of t times a derivative of y. So this is a nonlinear differential equation. And for our last example, we have the fourth derivative of y with respect to t minus t times the second derivative of y with respect to t plus four y equals one. The highest derivative is the fourth derivative of y with respect to t, so the order is four. Each of these terms does fit the form of a linear differential equation. Here we have the fourth derivative of y with respect to t, which again can be considered a function of t, where the function of t would be one, times a derivative of y, and then we have the term negative t times the second derivative of y with respect to t, which is a function of t times a derivative of y, plus four y, which can be considered a function of t times y equals one, where one can be considered a function of t. So this is a linear differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.